Hey, 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 happy day 669 of what's she up to now? Sharon horn Elstrom, also known as Pajama Grandma, just sharing the journey of transitioning from the brick and mortar corporate world of business, mm -hmm. world of real businesses, real hardcore on the street businesses to the world of online business and how that journey's going, what I'm doing every day, what's working, what's not working, what's making me crazy. Usually technology is the only thing that makes me frustrated and crazy these days when things don't work how I think they should work, I get frustrated. And guess what? Things work how they work. It's not how I think they should work. So I titled this one, You're Getting Sleepy, Very Sleepy. Are you getting sleepy? Because in the day 63 of the blood pressure challenge, my blood pressure challenge or a health or lifestyle challenge with other people participating, uh, was all about sleep. The importance of sleep, how much sleep are you getting, what... Um, and then how are you going to make sure you get, how much do you think you need? And how are you going to schedule that in? How are you going to make sure you map in that you got to sleep every day? And you're going to then increase the quality of that sleep. So we talked all about sleep today. I don't even know what tomorrow is. Tomorrow's about, um, so I'm not going to share it. I'll, share, I'll surprise you tomorrow. Um, I do know what it is because I just peaked. So talked about sleep and the blood pressure challenge and the importance of that. And there isn't anything that any human being is doing, I will contend, that improving the quality of their sleep isn't going to help. Just like drinking water and making sure you're hydrated and getting enough water can help every single person on the planet, so can getting the right amount of sleep or actually getting sleep and letting our body repair and heal itself while we sleep. It's important for everyone. Um, you know, there's there's some basic needs that we all have and those, <laughs> those are a couple of them. Food, water, you know, energy from something, water, and sleep. It can't, you know, you're not gonna last long without them also talked about dressing to the nines or dressing to impress or dressing to get attention and i guess i could be accused of dressing for attention although i dress on purpose to create a message to people that they can be themselves they can show up as who they are and be accepted by the world they you need to show up as who you are and be yourself to be accepted by the world and to be happy i mean you can put on any masks masks or behave in any way you want and gosh I got a lot of these I didn't realize how many of these I've got like five of them all around me I just noticed I started laughing um, because I was talking about sleep um, you can show up in the world any way you want to it's entirely up to you but some ways will make you happy the more masks the more veils you wear the more you're pretending to be something that you're not the more you're copying other people and not being true to who you uniquely are the more unhappy you're going to be for most people, you know, there are exceptions to every statement that we make, but for the vast majority of us, we just want to be ourselves and loved and accepted for who we are. And we want to be able to be who we are and just do the things that make us happy. Uh, working with a group on a, not a webinar, on an event. We're doing an event. Um, we talked about doing a webinar and kind of went away from that. We think that the target audience that we're going after wouldn't be as receptive to a webinar as they would to an event. So we're planning an event, which is always fun and exciting. Uh, and it's, event, it's an event that is different than anything I've ever done. It's not an online event. It'll be a physical event for the group. And it's a different topic than I've ever worked on. So that is always fun and challenging for me. And it, it makes it kind of hard, but kind of easier because I have all kinds of questions about it that people looking at it for the first time would also have. So that makes it easier uh, because it's outside my normal realm of experience. It makes it actually kind of fun too, more fun. So I guess I like it better than when it is something that I've done over and over and over again before. Although those things are really easy to help people with, right? The things that we've done repeatedly. So working on that, um, have to get in touch with a couple of coaching students that have kind of fallen by the wayside as the holidays are ramping up. A lot of people's activity level is ramping down and we wanna make sure we stay on track to achieve our goals. Uh, the BP challenge, I love challenges. I've already thought about what my next challenge, I wanna start one December 1st, but it's a health related one too. And so I might push back and not do it. I might wait till January. Everybody loves a health challenge January 1st, right? I might finish off the 90 day challenge you know, by the end of the year and then start January 1st with the next challenge that I'm thinking about and not try to do them simultaneously. It's too much. And sometimes, like everybody else, it's the mom and the grandma in me, we like to do and take on too much. So I wanna make sure I don't do that. 
So, question for you. Are you getting enough sleep? Do you sleep? Do you get enough sleep? Do you schedule your sleep? Have you ever had to do things to improve the quality of your sleep? Uh, getting to the age where a lot of my friends actually have CPAPs and breathing machines and things to help them get a better night's sleep because they have sleep apnea. Uh, I, I guess my dad had that and I never really thought about it. Uh, a lot of us as we get older do things to consciously improve the quality of our sleep. I, I consciously have done things over the last several years to improve the quality of my sleep and because of that I get, I, I get a much better quality of sleep and because I sleep better that means I can perform better during the day because guess what I have some energy my body's been healing itself while I'm sleeping and I have energy so what are you working on do you have any questions that I can help you answer do you have any people that I can hook you up with or, or do you have just a hey I don't know what to do next and you want someone to ask always ask I might not know the answer but I'll find somebody that does or I'll, I'll help you get to the next step that you need to create the outcome that you want for your life and I'm always going to encourage you to be yourself so that is it that's my little report for today my amazing little four-year-old granddaughter is going to spend the next couple days with me because it's a holiday week that means no school yay so we're going to play and have some fun things going on today hopefully she's better today she was really sick yesterday with a little cough and cold symptoms and so she was kind of miserable most of the day so I'm hoping that we have a much better day today Sit, go out, have an awesome day. If I can help you in any way, hit me up in the comments below. Otherwise, I will be home. Bye.